Lights, camera, Jack in action. Woo! We're on our way to the airport. At the accessible drop off. So I actually put my axles together so my wheels stay together and won't fall apart during the flight. And look how accessible this bathroom is at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. So in order to get on the airplane, I have to use an aisle chair. An aisle chair is very narrow and I'm able to get to my seat. I'm strapped in and then two people help guide the aisle chair just so you know I don't tip or fall and it's just extra safe that way. So I get to my seat and then they lift up the armrest and unstrap me and then I just kind of transfer over to the window seat. So for whatever reason, if I had to use the bathroom, it would be more private. I'd put a blanket over me and then I have a closed catheter bag right there. Because the bathrooms on the plane aren't accessible, you can't use an aisle chair to get to them. So I make sure to go before I go on the plane. Please check all luggage tags carefully. All right, we came into the hotel at the Hard Rock. Looks nice. Ooh, there's a curb right there to get into the shower area. And then there isn't a shower chair, so yeah, we're gonna try finding a different room. To Our new room is literally right there. We got the new room. So I'll just put a towel there, transfer, and then slide into the tub by slowly lowering myself with that bar. Dude, look at how much space there is. I could have 70 people in wheelchairs in here and have throw a party. This is the balcony of the fifth floor. Okay. Wow, we just broke even, sort of. Wow. Excitement. Excitement. Okay. okay, so we started with $10. We're at $25.52. Cash out. So this is the second day of us being in Vegas, which was Valentine's Day, so we decided to go to the concierge and get tickets to go see the Beatles at the Mirage. And this is the sports gambling room. We didn't actually gamble, we just checked it out. And here is us driving up to the Mirage in our Uber. And it's beautiful inside there, look at this. And of course, I had to take a picture. And here are our tickets that we got. Here's a little sneak peek of the show. We were talking It was a great show to see, especially because it was kind of rainy the whole time that day. I can use this as a shower chair back here. So that's what I'm going to do so it's a lot easier and I don't have to get into the tub. Up. I'm kind of tall so my knees are in a weird position, my feet get scrunched up on the bottom. Here we are rocking and rolling into the next day. Jack in action here. Welcome to my cabana. I'll transfer and get comfortable. Yeah. 
Life is good. Also, it's important to know how to transfer into different vehicles because if you take an Uber, you can go in just about anything. 60 acres for sale here. What's it gonna do? Yeah, we have Just a head drop off Jackson on the right. This was the day that me and my teammate Rob and my dad went for a stroll along the strip, seeing different casinos, going in and out, and just getting some experiences in. Yeah, they didn't design these, right? No. They don't want to win our money. <laughs> Got a bowling alley? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're fine. Crystal bonus! Not bad for betting, what, 30 cents? Quad twos. Got a back massage. <laughs> then I ran into some fun folks from all across the world. Lights, camera, jack in action. Woo! And this was the night before our game, so some teammates were rolling in and we got some food. My dad's a team player. Pushing that while I go forward with the boys. So it was about a 10 minute wheel to get to this gym. And watch double zero as he falls. And then he can get back up. He's a single amputee. And this first game is against the host team, the Las Vegas Yucas. Here's Chandler coming in for a layup. Nice scoop to get it in. Holden's coming down the court right now. He didn't have control of his chair, so that was a charge. Troy makes a nice free throw. And then Evan does some great defense, grabs that ball. Gets closer to the hoop. Shoots it. Banks off the glass in. Nice little pass right there to Chandler. Gets a nice layup. Evan from the side gets another nice bank shot. Chandler brings it in the middle to Holden. So this play was actually my bad. I should have wheeled to the hoop and had a nice shot, but instead I wheeled the wrong way and took a ball to the face. So here's Evan, nice layup, another nice scoop. A nice seal by Chandler to get Evan in there for another layup. Here's Evan, <laughs> nice layup. This was actually a really close game that we had, so all these points made a huge difference in the outcome for the game. Look at that, lots of good chair skills and a nice range being able to shoot from the outside, from both sides. The rolling Timberwolves managed to win 59 to 54. All right, and there's broken beer bottles and everything along this path, so just gotta make sure you don't pop a tire. This is the path that we took to go from the hotel to the gym and back. And then me and my dad actually stopped and got some lunch. We didn't eat at this place. This place is owned by Shaquille O'Neal. Instead, we went to this really good sandwich place. I am taller than these trees. Look at these things. Like, I'm down on a hill and my hand's right here. Little trees. 
remember to be active. This is our second game of the day. Holden has a nice shot. And this game, we're going against the other Las Vegas team. Oh, there I had a nice layup. Chandler has a nice layup. Chandler with the pass to Troy, extends his arm out, grabs it, and gets a nice shot. Holden goes in with a nice, easy layup. Rob has a nice layup. Nice long pass to me. I make it. There's Shea with a great layup. Rob with a scoop. I can't remember the final score, but we ended up winning, which was awesome. And we're all looking to the left because our teammate Holden was the only one not ready for a picture. Remember those people that I met that one night? Well, guess what? They actually came out and watched the game and cheered us on. It was awesome. I must have been nervous for the third game of the day because my legs were just spasming a lot. But I think they were just spasming on their own. It wasn't because I was nervous, but they tend to do that when I play basketball. So this game is against the Utah Jazz. We did a great job of putting pressure on the ball, which slowed their gameplay down a lot. And we were actually losing 18 to 13 at the half. But then we came and turned it around and we ended up winning 49 to 27 which means we scored 36 points in the second half and they only scored nine. These are the Van Winkles. Sharon is the one that told me about wheelchair basketball and encouraged me to play. And then Paul, I actually did some track and field and he helped train me with that. We went 3-0 and for the day. So then the team got together and we coordinated a team dinner. We ended up going to this barbecue place that was really good. Here I am transferring out of the vehicle, my legs shaking. Here's the team. And we're watching the slam dunk contest. The food was super good. And I thought I had long legs. Look at those. What are those? Rob injured his thumb, so I was being a nice pal and helping tug him along the casinos. I was going uphill right there, so it was extra challenging, but then it was smooth sailing because it was a flat surface. We saw a self-driving car, and if you look at the driver's mirror, you can see there's a sensor underneath it that senses if vehicles are close by. This is our final game of the tournament. This is against the rolling Utah Jazz again. There, Rob passes it to Evan. Evan gets closer to the hoop, moves the ball around, shoots. Nice bank shot. Here I go in for a layup. Evan with another good shot. We played really well this game, so we knew that we had to press this team, and that's what we ended up doing during the second half of our first game against them. So then we started pressing them early on, and it put a lot of pressure on them where they weren't able to get the ball across half court sometimes, which meant that there were turnovers. So we were able to get the ball more often, and it just helped us win against them. And on our way back, I saw a really cool orange Lamborghini. All right, we have everything packed. We are going to just hang out at the Hard Rock Hotel until we have to go to our, until we go to the airport. All right, three, two, one. Oh, baby! <laughs> Seven. 
All right, here we are. Where are we? Las Wages. Mustard. Please be careful. It looks like yellow mustard. It's got like a kick to it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. 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 It's like, <laughs> it's initial. Wait, wait, wait for it. No, wait, wait, wait. It'll go away. It, it melts out. It melts. It melts out. It's going through my top Yeah, of my it, goes, head. it goes back. <laughs> Me too. It did the same thing. But it's gonna, it'll it's melt like out. It's like Steamboat Willie. It's in prayer. Do you say prayers at all? If you I... do, then I'll, I'll pass and wait for you. Okay, we'll just say it. So the guy next to me, he put $200 in without winning anything, and then I did one spin on this machine, and I won $150. So, yeah, I got lucky. Very lucky. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, this adventure in Las Vegas for my basketball tournament where we went 4-0. Yeah, I made it safely to Minnesota. If you did like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next Saturday. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.